So let's talk about editing the virtual disk in Hyper-V. So I'm on my Hyper-V manager up here. Down here is my option to edit a uh, disk. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to find a disk that I want to work with. And I'm just going to pick, I oh, will pick this one here. Okay. So in our edit virtual disk, we have three options. We can compact, convert, or expand. So compact shrinks the size of your virtual disk. Now it doesn't make it so that it can't hold as much. So if you remember, if we're using, by the way, this is only really useful with dynamically expanding disks. So if you have a dynamically expanding disk, and let's say you have a 100 gigabyte dynamically expanding disk, it doesn't allocate all 100 gigabytes at one time. Instead, what it does is it starts out very small, and then as you add data in, it allocates more and more space. And so on your physical disk, that VHD file grows and grows and grows. But it's a one-way process. It gets bigger. When you delete information out, it doesn't get smaller. It doesn't reclaim that disk space. And that's what this does. So let me rephrase that. It doesn't reclaim that disk space automatically. You can come in here and edit and compact it. And it says this option compacts the size of a virtual disk. So if I had a dynamically expanded disk, I copied a bunch of information into it. The disk grew. I deleted that information out. The disk didn't shrink this process will let me manually go in and shrink it. So it makes it smaller on disk. It doesn't change the capacity. So if I want, you know, if I create a 100 gigabit disk and I copy 50 gigabits of data in, it's so using 50 gigabits of data on my hard drive, physical hard drive, I delete 25 gig. When I compact it, it compacts it down to that 25 gig that's still left, but it doesn't change the capacity. My capacity is still 100 gigs, so I can add more to it. That's what Compact does. It reclaims uh, disk space. Another option here is to convert. And this will allow you to convert between different types and different formats. So if I click Next, I can convert from VHD to VHDX. I can also convert from dynamically expanding to fixed size. And then uh, select the name and location for the disk that I want to work with. So I'm going to back out because I don't want to do that. But if I have a dynamically expanding disk, and remember, fixed size disks have better performance, so it's been working great for a while, but I need to bump up the performance, I can do that. I can convert it and make it a different type. Or if I've got a fixed size disk and I need to reclaim some space on my system, I could convert it to dynamically expanding and then compact it. Now, the other option here to expand, this makes your disk bigger. So this is a 127 gigabyte disk. I can give it a new size and put it up to whatever I want, and it will make that disk or expand the capacity of that disk. Okay, so those are our options for editing uh, virtual disks in Hyper-V.